series, the Missouri Valley Conference is defined by leaders on the court and on the sidelines. None better than Wichita State's Mark Turgeon. The Shockers were picked to win the conference. If they do that, they have to win on the road. Today, it's a test against Southern Illinois. We're looking forward to that. It's one place we haven't won as a staff and basketball program since, since I've been in Wichita. So we're looking forward to it. It will give us a chance to play in a great environment early, which will help us late in the season. champs in the Missouri Valley Conference, the Salukis of Southern Illinois. We are in Carbondale, Illinois, SIU Arena, the home of the Salukis. They are undefeated in conference play this afternoon. They will get tested. They'll take on the Shockers of Wichita State. State Farm proudly presents the Missouri Valley Conference Game of the Week. With Chris Piper, my name is Dan McLaughlin. As always, great to have you with us. This is brought to you by State Farm. The Shockers come in. Yep, everybody expected them to win the conference. Coaches picked them to win it, but all of a sudden, huge upset loss as they drop one to Drake, so a chance today to get one back. Well, Wichita State probably more perplexed about the way they played against Drake at home, and this is a chance for them to get back. You know, they were picked first in the league. To give one up at home is tough. On the other side, Southern Illinois' Matt Painter, first year here at the Salukis, and he has a chance to win his first big home game in the Valley. Big contest here, closely contested last year. Two guys that we could talk about as far as being candidates for player of the year, and we'll start with this man, Jamar Howard. Well, two great junior guards. You know, Jamar Howard, the thing he does better than anybody, he likes to mix things up. He makes something happen when he's on the floor. Not always something good, but he will always be involved in the play. Take a look at his numbers. He's third in conference in offensive rebounds, and we've got a chance to look at two of the best rebounding guards in the Valley here today. On the other side, Southern Illinois, Darren Brooks, a junior. This kid, he is best in transition, has done a little bit better job of shooting the ball in the half-court sets lately, but he is all over the floor. Second in the Valley as far as points go. And take a look at that. Offensive rebounds leads the conference at three rebounds a game. And he is going to be a tough matchup here today for Wichita State. Recently, Southern has dominated this series. They have won nine of the last ten games against Wichita State. It's the game of the week in the Missouri Valley Conference. The dog pound is set to go, and so are we. NBC action comes your way next. Choice. Make it healthy choice. The State Farm Missouri Valley Conference Game of the Week is brought to you by State Farm. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. By Budweiser. Grab a cold, fresh Budweiser. It's game time. By Edward Jones. More than 130 years of experience helping individuals build financial security. By ConAgra Foods. We set America's table at home and away. And by American Airlines and American Eagle, where you get a great low fare and a lot more airline. Southern Illinois has won nine of the last ten games against Wichita State, including five in a row here at SIU Arena. Welcome back to the Game of the Week presented by State Farm. Wichita State head coach Mark Turgeon in his fourth season. He carries a record of 51-50. and 50. Should the Shockers win more than 18 games this season, he would become the only Shocker head coach to do so. We take a look at his lineup. It's brought to you by Bud Light. It'll be Howard, Campman, Wise, Burns, and Holman. It is a lineup that is loaded with juniors and seniors. We talked about it in the open. Jamar Howard, the player to watch out for. Best defensive player in the league, averaging 14 a game. Meanwhile, for Southern Illinois, their head coach, a young one, 33-year-old Matt Painter, takes over for Bruce Weber, who went to Illinois. Painter, at the age of 33, is the third youngest head coach in SIU history. We take a look at his lineup. It's brought to you by Bud Light. Of course, this is back-to-back -back conference champions uh, for the Salukis, but now they return some different guys, and guys that have been there before, Corn, Willis, Brooks, Turner, and Hairston. The Bud Light starting lineups. Let's check the uh, Chrysler keys to the game brought to you by your Chrysler Jeep dealers and the Chrysler Town and Country. Well, Wichita State, they've got to stay under control. They had 25 turnovers against Drake's full court press. Also identify opportunities. They'll run on a miss. They'll step back, call a play on a made basket. For Southern Illinois, they have to get out and pressure Wichita State guards. They'll do it at full court and also get on the offensive glass. They want to create easy opportunities, get easy looks inside. One of the ways to do that, get on the offensive boards and get the putbacks for Matt Painter's Southern Illinois team. Wichita State coming off a 82-65 win against Northern Iowa. That was just four days ago with January 7th at Indiana State. Southern Illinois won their game at 67-50. That 
was coming off a loss against Charlotte, which, by the way, snapped their home winning streak, one of the longest in all of Division I basketball. It was at 31 games prior to that game against Charlotte. But uh, here in conference play, this is one of the toughest places to play. Yeah, it is. You know, the thing about Charlotte, too, in case a lot of people don't know, that is a quality team. They've got a couple really good big men inside, athletic, a tough matchup for Southern Illinois. But this will remain one of the toughest places to play in the Valley. Wichita State and Southern last year went at it for 40 minutes. Battle went down to the wire, and Southern Illinois able to win that contest last year. Southern Illinois in their home whites and red trim. Wichita State, their road dark uniforms. And we're set to go as the crowd is on their feet. And it is a good crowd here at SIU Arena. Heads up play, knocked out of bounds. That's off of Wichita State and Southern Illinois. Oh, looked like they were going to have the first possession, and they will. That one uh, big match or lineup change for Wichita State. They start Brett Wise inside and set their big man, Paul Miller, down. Both teams aren't going to be relying a lot on that inside game. They've got a lot of good guards, but Wichita State will probably look to post a little bit more than Southern Illinois. Trying to hit the alley-oop, a little back door, and none doing as Wichita State was able to knock it away, and they want to run. Playing up-tempo style. Ridge Holman back in the starting lineup for Wichita State. He sat out. They actually did not start the last game against Northern Iowa. Mark Turgeon trying to shake things up a little bit after that home loss against Drake. Holman leaning in and got it to fall. 2-0 Wichita State. Well, Fridge Holman up until that game hadn't been playing very well at all. They decided to set him down and came out against Northern Iowa. Had 22 points. Able to get started here again today. Willis should travel underneath. First turnover against Southern Illinois. And it's 2-0 early on from SIU Arena. And two great defensive teams who we're going to watch here today. Wichita State leading the, in the Valley. Field goal percentage defense. Southern Illinois has really committed themselves this year to the defensive end as well. Coleman, good look to Campman underneath. Couldn't complete it. Rebound, though, to Wise off the glass. Four to nothing for Mark Turgeon's club. And that's what Brett Wise does so well for Wichita State. He's a mop-up man. He's not going to make great plays, but he's going to be there, and he'll finish inside. She was 78% on the season. That tells you that he takes good shots, and there he is taking the charge. Brooks whistled for the offensive foul. These fans still waiting for the first bucket at home. Their club trailing by four. Darren Brooks, a key, obviously, for Mark Turgeon. They've got to shut him down after Averaging 18.7 rebounds, leads their team in steals and blocks. Randy Burns for the Shockers. Here's Howard, their leading scorer with 14 a game. When you see early what Wichita State wants to do, dead ball situation, they're going to come down, set up a play, try and dictate what they want to do offensively. And making a call from the bench. 10 on the shot clock. Here's Burns trying to penetrate. Kicks it to Wise. Thought about the three. Now Campman will take it. That one rattles home. Only a two just inside the arc. And great ball movement by Wichita State. Now Brett Wise has been involved in the last three possessions, both offensively and defensively. It is his extra pass, that possession, that opens up Campman for that easy jumper. Here's Turner for Southern Illinois. Sluggish start for the Salukis. Down by six at home. Corn pops out, a senior, fifth-year senior for the Salukis. That one well off the mark. And it's out of bounds off the Saluki, so back to Wichita State. Well, you have to be happy if you're the Shockers with this start. Yeah, and, and the thing about Southern Illinois is this year's team without Kent Williams and Jermaine Dearman struggles to score offensively, especially against a set half-court defense. If they're not able to create things on the defensive end, it's going to be tough for them to score against Wichita State. Wichita State, a very good defensive team, and that's one of the things that Southern Illinois wanted to do is create easy opportunities off their defensive end. And so far, Wichita State handling the ball pretty well, not allowing with Southern Illinois to have those opportunities. Three fresh bodies into the game for Southern Illinois. Matt Painter not happy with this start. That's off the mark, and it's picked away by Stetson Hairston. He's been around for a while. Up to Owen. Brooks thought about it. Now he'll pull up. Off the front iron. Howard pulls it away in a strong rebound. Wichita State playing very confident. Burns. Leans in off the glass, you bet. What a start for Wichita State on the road. Eight to nothing, they lead it. Great composure by Wichita State. Nice idea that time by Randy Burns in the transition. He thought about the three initially, then pulled up, put it on the floor, took the easy jumper inside. Six of the eight points to start this game for Wichita State on three Southern Illinois turnovers. Eight to nothing, Shockers. 
eight to nothing Wichita State on the road trying to snap a five game losing streak at this building over the past five seasons and with 1706 to play they have come out confident and playing very well on the road here is Jamal Tatum now into the game for the Salukis well, three quarter court pressure by Wichita State going to drop back into the zone Important when you switch to the zone defense for Wichita State that they find Darren Brooks on the outside. Under 10 on the shot clock. Here's Tatum. Now a three from the wing. No good. Fresh 35, but a whistle and a foul. That's going to go against the Salukis. It's back to Wichita State. Yeah, Wichita State doing everything right now. One and done for Southern Illinois. Southern Illinois has not had a look inside the paint yet. Terrific defense this far by the Shockers. Southern Illinois is over the first three. And already three turnovers in the first three minutes. Yeah, and that's the key. You're, you're low on attempts at three, and that tells you that your defense is, number one, making you turn the ball over and not get looks at the basket. Number two, the looks that Southern Illinois is getting aren't very good looks at all. Burns, no good. And that's going to be a foul on Wise of the Shockers. 16.09 to play, 8 to nothing, Wichita State. Well, important right now for Southern Illinois to try and get something going. Got to get the ball inside a little bit. They're going to put Brad Corn back in the game. They've got Josh Warren as well. And Darren Brooks has had nothing good to look at so far. These fans still on their feet at home, waiting for that first point for Southern Illinois. Corn at the head of the key. Brooks in the corner. Another zone shown by Wichita State, mixing up their defenses early on. And Southern Illinois has yet to get the ball below the free throw line. It allows that defense just to stand around and rest up a little bit. Down to two on the shot clock. Warren, no good, and it's pulled away by the Shockers. Boy, defensively, Wichita State is doing a heck of a job early on, and you're right. The Salukis can't get in any kind of offensive set. And you give credit to Wichita State defensively, but Southern Illinois isn't attacking at all offensively either. And last couple possessions, Wichita State letting them off the hook with early shots. Tatum picks up the miss. Open look in the corner. Rattles out. Pulled away by Warren, and he is fouled underneath. And that's going to go against Fridge Holman, the senior from Brooklyn, New York. And we'll take a timeout. Southern Illinois at home still looking for their first bucket. Down by eight. Matt Painter trying to figure out how to get things going offensively. It's eight to nothing. Shockers. Don't miss a minute of the 2004 State Farm Missouri Valley Conference Men's Basketball Tournament. We call it Arch Madness. March 5th through the 8th at the Savage Center in downtown St. Louis. The place to be for some great Valley action. The number to call 314-241-1888. 314-241-1888 for the MBC Men's Tournament in St. Louis. Well, in a game like this, uh, oftentimes comes down to easy opportunities. And you see Wichita State's got four three turnovers by Southern Illinois already and have gotten six easy points off of those and those will be the things that make the difference between a winning and a losing effort here's Turner now to Brooks back to Turner Shocker is going to be content to play that zone defense until Southern Illinois proves that they can score against it look inside corn nice look to Willis and he is fouled hard underneath and a chance for him to go to the line and a chance for Southern Illinois to finally get on the board good look there by corn much better possession by Southern Illinois as well look at the entry pass right in the middle of the zone defense right when it gets there it's tough to guard he can go either right or left nice look down he knew exactly where to turn to his weak side and Sylvester Willis cut into the basket to give him that passing opportunity only a 69 percent free throw shooter and here we are Nearly six minutes into this game, and uh, Southern Illinois still trying to find their first points. That one finds the uh, bottom of the net, thankfully. 5,000 happy people. They can sit down now and rest a little bit. Right. And it's 8-1 to one Shockers. Howard to Campman. Willis had a piece of it. It's kept alive, but... It's hit out of bounds. Matt Painter doesn't like the call. Neither do the fans, but uh, it's going to stay with the Shockers of Wichita State. Yeah, I think the ball hit the official John Higgins out there, and that puts the ball out of play. Yep. Oh, 
take a look. The ball's going to bounce off of Sylvester Willis, and he hits Higgins. John Higgins standing out of bounds. That makes the ball out of bounds. Back to Wichita State. Nice call. Campman, good look to Miller underneath. Off the glass. That's too easy. It's 10-1. Nice pick on the weak side as well to open up Miller underneath. Paul Miller is sophomore from Jefferson City, Missouri. Shockers pick up another loose basketball. It is all Wichita State to start this game. And believe it or not, they're probably actually better defensively now that they've got Adam Liberty on the floor as well with Jamar Howard, two of the best on-ball defenders in the league. Brooks gets things going finally for him, and it's 10-3. Brooks the leading scorer for the Salukis, averaging 18 a game. Miller inside. Guarded by Willis, now to Howard, guarded by Owen. That's a travel. Something that Wichita State has been able to do is take this crowd out of it. Lively crowd, conference play. And the Salukis at 3-0. No, this is a huge game for them. Obviously a game that sets the tone also early in the season that you want to be able to continue to show your dominance in the league. Matt Painter wanting to prove that he's going to be able to continue this Southern Illinois string of conference victories. You know, the thing that gets Southern Illinois going, though, is the defensive end. You saw a little transition opportunity there, finally for him, and that got the crowd a little more involved. A three from the right side rattles home. That's Turner. Ten to six, Wichita State. Brian Turner, a senior, shot 44% from the three-point line last year. Able to find the opening. A double team down low and a turnover. Turner. Born to Willis. Saluki's content to set up the offense. Wise picks up the miss for Wichita State. Saluki's. Really struggling offensively to start this game. That's a foul on Brian Turner, the senior from St. Louis. And not such a bad foul by Brian Turner as well. Matt Painter wanting his team to get more aggressive. They want to get after you all over the court, not allow you to do anything whatsoever. So a foul like this, even though it's a long way away from the basket, not going to get anything for you at this point in the game. You like to see a little aggression going on. Get active, get involved in this thing, rather than sitting back on your heels and letting Wichita State do what they want to. All of a sudden now, Wichita State bumping up in that turnover category. Tony Young back in the game for the Salukis. Wise picks it up off the floor. That's his fourth point, 12-6. Wichita State. So Illinois does a nice job of spreading out the floor. Good play by Jamar Howard. This is Hogg looking for Howard. He'll try three. No good. Knock back. And it's going to be Saluki's basketball. This is Corn. He can shoot it. Off the mark. Howard picks up the miss. Liberty now for Wichita State across the timeline. 11 and a half to play in our first half. Howard inside, matched up with Young now Corn. Showed a little bit of a double team. Miller did not start today, pops out. Hog, tough shot contested, partially blocked by Brooks. Well, great defense by Darren Brooks. Didn't go for the initial ball fake, stayed right with Aaron Hogg, waited for him to release for the jumper, and he was right up in his face. Foul on Howard. 11-13 to play. Wichita State with a lead of six. Twelve to six, Shockers on the road, up by six with 11-13 to go. Hello, today's Prairie Farms Missouri Valley Conference Scholar Athlete is Southern Illinois' Jenny Doring, a senior from Nashville, Illinois. Doring was a second team Valley softball selection in 2003 and shortstop, a first team Valley Scholar Athlete and a Verizon District 5 Academic All-American. She's carrying a 3.6 in mathematics. Academics are important to the Missouri Valley Conference, so let's uh, salute Jenny Doring, today's Prairie Farms MVC Scholar Athlete. We talked about offensive boards at the beginning of this game, and both teams not able to get on the offensive glass. One each for both sides. 
these easy opportunities have not been easy to come by. Yep. Neither team has scored the last minute. Wichita State only four points in the last six minutes after a terrific start to the ball game in the first couple. Under 11 minutes to play, first half. Wichita State primarily has been in a zone, and now a whistle away from the basketball. Looks like that's going to go against Willis. And it is. Trying to set a pick down on that uh, weak side, hold off the big man and open up the shot on the wing. And Brett Wise fought over the top of it. Sylvester Willis tried to go with him. Holman penetrating to Wise, and he couldn't handle the pass. Tough pass. Coming down the floor full speed. You throw a ball with top spin on it down at your big man's ankles. Kind of hard to ask for him to catch that pass. And that has kind of been Fridge Holman's M.O. He's had some good games, and then he's had those games where he just gets out of control and does the wrong thing at the wrong time. Had seven turnovers against Drake. You can't have your point guard turning the ball over. Now you expect turnovers because otherwise they're not active, but not that early in a possession. Jamal Tatum back in the game for the Salukis. This is Brooks on the wing. Tatum, a four-year stutter at Elias High School in Jefferson City. Tatum, head of the key. You bet. The freshman knocks it down, Jamal Tatum. Well, he set out the last game with suspension, but he can play 44% from the three-point line. Good ball movement, got the ball to the wing, found the open spot. Wichita State guards slow to react to get back to the top of the key and defend that three. With the left hand, it falls for Mr. Burns. Randy Burns out of Houston, Texas. Yeah, big buckets early for Randy Burns. You know, he had the great freshman year, pretty good sophomore year, and he struggled a little bit with the confidence. He struggled last year with the confidence as well. He'll play like game busters one game, the next game come out and miss a few early shots and get his head down. He's been able to hit a few here. Willis answers his third point. Now big points inside. Sylvester Willis not going to give you Jermaine Dearman numbers by any means, but if you can get a couple points inside, you got to start making that Wichita State defense collapse a little bit for your shooters on the perimeter. Holman just inside the arc and got it to fall. Bridge Holman. Second in the Missouri Valley Conference and assists. Came in with 75 on the year, and he can shoot a little bit. Averaging double figures. Aaron Brooks sneaking along the baseline, trying to get an open look. Tatum may have forced it, but it didn't matter. Picking up that basketball, Darren Brooks, the leading rebounder for Southern Illinois. How about that? Leading rebounder. He's 6'3". He plays guard. He's also second in the Valley, by the way, in scoring as well. And that shows you why. He will get in and get the offensive boards. Campman, 6'8", junior answers. The miss by Southern Illinois. Here comes Wichita State. They want to push. They've got some numbers. Burns for three. And he is fouled, so he'll go to the line and shoot three free throws with 8.30 to play in the first half. Now, Darren Brooks likes to sneak along the baseline looking for the jumper. Watch when this shot goes up. The top right, he's just going to come in, slide underneath. Nobody able to box him out because he's so far down on the baseline, you don't even really see him going in there. And that's what smart guards do. When you've got the ability to stand out on the floor and pick a spot on the defense to get to the glass, it gives you a nice look, a nice opening to slide in, and he does it each and every time. Doesn't expect to get an offensive rebound, obviously, every time, but by being persistent, you get a number of opportunities. So Burns will go to the line with four points as our official is talking over with Campman down on that left block. Three shots for Burns. 76% free throw shooter. As a team, Wichita State not shabby at 75%. Hits the first. Extends the lead to six. We're talking about Darren Brooks of the Salukis. This year not playing in the shadows of Kent Williams or Jermaine Dearman. So 40% of the scoring graduated for the Salukis, and they thought this might be a little bit of a transition year, rebuilding year. But here they are, 3-0 and in conference play and playing very well at 9-2 and overall. Well, you know, more than anything, this Southern Illinois team probably misses Jermaine Dearman because of his presence inside. And it's not taking anything away from Kent Williams. He's a great player, a great threat on the outside. But in the Missouri Valley, when you've got a dominant big man, that can really mean the difference between winning and losing. 
It's all three, and it's 21-13, under eight and a half to play in our first half. NBC Game of the Week presented by State Farm. Horn flashes, the put back is no good. Kentman picks up the miss as Sylvester Willis trying to flush it down. Southern Illinois really crashing along the baseline. That high post has been open for him inside against the zone. Wichita State needs to be aware of the baseline guy is attacking the glass. Holman, a great look and the finish underneath by Adam Liberty, a freshman from Oklahoma City. And all of a sudden, the lead is double figures on the road for Wichita State. Now, watch the middle of the paint against this zone. Brad corn has been trying to find this open spot. He's had pretty good success when he's caught the ball inside there. Wichita State, little 1 2 2 look. And we'll take a timeout with 7.46 to go. From the opening tip, it has been Wichita State this afternoon. They lead it by 10. Why can't I? NBC Game of the Week presented by State Farm. Defending champs the last two years. The Salukis at home down by 10. We take a look at the standings brought to you by Edward Jones. More than 130 years of experience helping individuals build financial security. Edward Jones. I would have to say, Chris Piper, the biggest surprise as we look at the standings, Dr. Tom Davis and what he has done at Drake. They are 2-1 and one in conference play. They are above 500. And oh, by the way, they beat what many feel is the team to beat in this conference, Wichita State. And they're also able to beat Bradley at home. Another team playing well so far this season, Northern Iowa. has done a nice job there. They've got a strong Strong team both inside and outside, but still at the top of the standings, you got to beat those two teams that have been there the last few years. And Creighton has shown no signs of weakness so far, and Southern Illinois doing what they've needed to do so far this season, also. Lead has extended to 12 now for the Shockers. Warren picks up his first two. Nice look by Lamar Owen on his backside there. He got double teamed in the post, and it wasn't a strong double team. It allowed him to turn inside the lane, give a little scoop shove to Josh Warren for the easy two. Burns, the miss, corn the rebound. Under seven minutes to go, 25-15. The Shackers. Warren can shoot a little bit. And as I say that, he throws up an air ball. And that one is blocked, and here comes Wichita State. This is Howard. That's travel, looks like. And it is. Now watch Josh Warren. He's going to throw up a little air ball here. Lamar Owen gets it, but Jamar Howard right behind him. Jamar Howard might play guard, but he is explosive. Able to get off his feet quickly. Able to get in there, and then he gets called for the travel down set. Yeah, I'm going in transition. He's still talking about it. Howard with two points this afternoon. You know, the bad thing is Jamar Howard gets the turnover in his stat line, but really it's more of the guard. The guard put him the ball in his hands when he was covered by three Salukis, nowhere to go. Ryan Turner, the senior from St. Louis, with a three. And two big threes here this afternoon for Brian Turner, who had been struggling coming into the season. 28% from the three-point line. Wichita State trying to answer. They won't. Warren picks up the miss. Here come the Salukis. Turner. Good look underneath and a foul on Aaron Hogg. Looking for the season's hottest styles. Aeropo style provides the hottest athletically inspired clothes for guys and girls. For store locations, visit our website at aeropostyle.com. That's A-E-R-O-P-O-S-T-A-L.com. Aeropost Style, proud sponsor of the Missouri Valley Conference. Don't forget the E, too, when you're putting in before the dot com. Like I just said. Don't forget that. Now. I can't spell. I mean, geez, I have a hard have enough time with my name. <laughs> Corn leans in and got it to fall, and all of a sudden, lead is cut to five, and the crowd is back into it. Long way to go in this one. Fans wanted to travel. They're not going to get it. Yeah, they... Wichita State lucked out that time. Fridge Holman's feet slipped out from underneath and got a little bit out of control, trying to make too much happen against the set defense in Southern Illinois. Starting to get their feet underneath them. Timeout taken by Wichita State with 5.35 to go. They lead it by five here at SIU Arena. The Rollings 10 presents T-Mac. 5-20, Wichita State is led throughout. 5.35 to go in our first half. 
Southern Illinois has outscored the Shockers on a little 7-0 run. They also have out-rebounded Wichita State 12-10, and uh, that could be a telling stat in this game. Wichita State 1-3 when out-rebounded this year, and of course both coaches were telling us before the game that's going to be the key stat to watch. Rebounds this afternoon. And a travel against the Shockers, so back to Southern Illinois. Now, do you know the thing that you're starting to see here now is Southern Illinois is having some success getting the ball inside. They've had success on the offensive glass as well, whereas Wichita State, last four or five possessions, has been living on the jump shot. They're actually more appropriately dying on the jump shot. Haven't made anything from the outside lately. Man to man now by the Shockers. Corn. Owen from the baseline knocks it down. Only a two inside the arc. And the lead all of a sudden is at three, and this crowd is right back in it. Now Lamar Owen can step out and hit that. Junior college transfer from Southeastern Illinois College. Averaging eight points, but had 27 points in the first two games before the Illinois State game. He can play a little bit. The junior from Forest City, Missouri. Rob Kempman knocks down a three, and that stops a run from Southern Illinois. inside off the glass five straight points for Owen and the Salukis nice read by Lamar Owen he just curled off that top pick he had Jamar Howard trailing behind him Jamar Howard really not trying extremely hard to stick with him and he just went right to the basket read the screen perfectly Cantman no one got a body on him and he answers with five straight of his own for Wichita State Bob Cantman a smart player his numbers have been down a little bit the last four games primarily because he has not had the opportunities like he just had getting shots inside he's been stuck shooting jumpers on the outside when he gets active on the glass he's got to stop boy corn can really shoot it the fifth year senior top free throw shooter one of the best three-point shooters in the league well valley all bench last year there's a strip by tatum he'll lay it up and in Sneaks in there for the freshman. It's a one-point lead for Wichita State. And that's what Southern Illinois likes to do. They like to pick you up full court. A little man-to-man -man pressure. Miller trying to answer. He can't. The Salukis now a chance to take the lead. Crowd on their feet. Warren had it. Lost it and keeps it alive. Corn in the corner to Owen. Leans in with the left hand. Chance at a three-point play. Their first lead of the afternoon. Watch Lamar Owen explode to the basket. Just gets right through the defense, switches up, goes to the left, avoids Cantman underneath. Athletic player really gives them an aggressive player that will attack the basket inside. Nice job by Lamar Owen. Looking for that cut right immediately when he caught that ball. Owen with six points to lead the Salukis. You see he leads the conference in field goal percentage. Really their top performer off the bench, but he can't complete the three-point play. It's back to Wichita State. Now trailing in this game for the first time. Liberty to Burns on the wing. Leading in, no good, loose basketball, and Brooks comes away with it. Wichita State looking a little shell-shocked right now, and that's been the problem for this team is the confidence. They've got to be able to settle down and get back to playing the way they were playing early, but right now Southern Illinois feeling. Got the aggressive look, back on the attack. Pearson, the corn, his second three, you bet. Right now, Southern Illinois doing whatever they want to do on the offensive end. And a steal by Owen. Lays it up and in. Timeout taken by the Shockers. <laughs> Biggest lead of the afternoon for the Salukis. 
the Missouri Valley. Southern Illinois, 36 to 30. At one point, they're down by 12 in this first half. Now they lead it by six. Unbelievable run, and it just started on the defensive end for Southern Illinois. They started turn, getting the turnovers, getting a little transition going. Now back to live action. Brooks to Hairston. Yes! Eight-point lead for Southern Illinois. They are on a 25-5 run now in the last five and a half minutes. And that's the second turnover they've been able to create against the Wichita State guards in the backcourt. Another steal and another turnover. Howard whistled for his second personal. for Southern Illinois, whether it be Owen off the bench from the outside or Tatum with a strip. It has been all Salukis now in the last six to seven minutes, Chris Piper. They've been tremendous, haven't they? Great energy. Moving offensively. You know, the first four or five minutes, they were standing offensively, kind of looking around, waiting for somebody else to make a play. And the last 10 or 12 possessions now, all five guys on the floor for Southern Illinois have been moving. Owen misses that front end, and now it's back to Wichita State, trailing in this game. Biggest lead for Southern Illinois of eight points. Campman for three. Wise picks up the loose basketball, and then wisely throws it off Stetson Hairston. We'll take a timeout with 1.18 to go in our first half. You are watching the Missouri Valley Conference, presented by State Farm. Eight-point lead for the Salukis. Southern Illinois in our State Farm Game of the Week. At home, they lead it. When the Valley takes its TV cameras around the conference, these properties serve as leaks home away from home. Please visit the websites or call these properties when following your favorite Valley team on the road. Chris Piper, Dan McLaughlin, welcome back to SIU Arena. It's been a good one so far, 38-30. In two different games, hasn't it? Really has been. First seven or eight minutes, all Wichita State. Last seven minutes, all Southern Illinois. Brooks altered the shot of Liberty on a backdoor cut. Nice play out of the timeout. Had everything they wanted to, just couldn't finish. <laughs> Off a pick, Brooks. Under a minute to play. 15 on the shot clock. Inside, Hairston, the lefty, and it won't fall for him. The bodies are on the floor and coming away with it. Wichita State's Aaron Hogg. Burns off a pick from the free throw line. Got it. 38-32. Burns with seven. Campman has been their leading scorer with nine. Shot clock off. Under 20 seconds to play, first half. Brooks on the baseline. Won't fall, there's still plenty of time now. Six seconds left. Burns in the front court. Burns looking for help. A whistle and a travel with 1.8 seconds to go in the first half. Check out the satellite concession stands on the upper third course level. So 1.8 seconds to go. Turner, Turner replacing LeBron. Darren Brooks will inbound for the Salukis. Caught by Hairston. He stepped out of bounds, it looked like. Won't count anyway. And that's going to end our first half of play, it looks like. Now our officials will converge to see if there should be some time on the clock. If Hairston stepped out of bounds before time had expired here in our first half. That's what uh, Mark Turgeon is saying, the Wichita State head coach. And now they will review. This is a, I believe, reviewable play on the sideline. So they'll take a look at it to see how much time is left. Time clock to make sure that time was out. Chris Piper is awaiting the arrival of Matt Painter, head coach for the Salukis. So we'll see how much time, Chris, that they have on the clock, but uh, conceivably 
they could get a quick shot off. Well, from my vantage point, it looked like, uh, if anything, they got point three. So they're going to have to throw it at the glass if they find anything at all. But, you know, with the rules changes this year, they can go to the monitor for any situation like this under the last minute when it's a question about whether you have time left or if it's a question about the shot clock as well. So John Higgins, David Hall over there trying to take a look, see what kind of look that they can see. And figure this one out. The officials still converging on the sidelines, trying to figure out, getting a look at the monitor. Apparently, they're going to add 0.5 seconds to the clock before the end of this uh, first half. So we will have at least one more play. Well, 0.5 basically means you got to get something right up to the rim. You can touch it, direct it to the basket, but not enough time to catch and shoot. Liberty will inbound for Wichita State. Point five is on the clock, and here we go. Burns lets it fly off the front iron. He was able to catch and shoot. Matt Painter is going to be standing by with Chris Piper, and it's brought to you by Mercy Health Plans. A look at the second half, and let's check in with Pipe. Well, Coach, it looked a little grim there at the beginning, down 8-0, but your team really made a change in the uh, first half and did something different. Yeah, we really had a tough time with their zone, just getting any continuity, getting a flow, and our guys had a couple good looks. Then they started playing the passing lanes, and our guys are a little hesitant, but right as we got a flow, we got some transition backs, baskets, we got into it, we started attacking the zone better and played a lot better on the defensive end. All right, thanks a lot, Coach. Thank you. Well, the real good guy in this conference head coach Matt Painter from uh, Southern Illinois Mercy Health Plans providing innovative health coverage that empowers members to take responsibility for their health visit mercyhealthplans.com we're at the half of our game of the week presented by State Farm 38-32 Southern Illinois trying to stay undefeated in conference play they lead it at the half Leon the team announced today you'll be replaced in the lineup with an untried rookie. Your thoughts? Well, Chuck, at this point, it's pretty much out of my hands, so I just have to do what I can to motivate the rookie. Leon as mentor, then? Exactly. I got to let him know that it's dangerous out there and that he could get broke up real bad or disfigured or maybe even killed. And that's supposed to motivate him? Yeah, to quit. I want my job back. Welcome to Leon U freshman orientation. State Farm Missouri Valley Conference Game of the Week is brought to you by State Farm. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. By John Q. Hammonds Hotels, the leading independent owner and manager of upscale hotels and meeting facilities. By the Prairie Farms family of dairies. Prairie Farms, Highland and Roberts Dairies, serving Mid-America with quality, fresh dairy products every day. By Pepsi Cola, the official soft drink of the Missouri Valley Conference. And by the Chrysler Town and Country. Missouri Valley Conference game of the week presented by State Farm. The Southern Illinois Salukis leading at the half at one point down by 12. Now they lead it by six. And welcome back. Chris Piper alongside. I'm Dan McLaughlin. And uh, really a tale of two halves in that first half. First 10 minutes dominated by Wichita State, but then a huge run by Southern Illinois, and at the half, they lead it by six. Well, it's funny how the game of basketball played. It's about the aggressor, and in the first few minutes, it was Wichita State. They were attacking defensively and offensively. Down 8-0 for Southern Illinois, and they didn't have any good looks, but all of a sudden, they got things changed with the defensive end of the floor, and they were tremendous. 11 for 13 in the last seven minutes of that first half, and uh, Matt Painter had to be pretty happy with the way his team was able to change things around. For Wichita State, I think the concern right now now, is they're a little bit fragile right now. The confidence is down. The back-to-back -back losses against Oral Roberts and Drake at home has kind of hurt this team right now. Important for them to be able to regroup. 38-32, we are at the half at SIU Arena. Today's Missouri Valley State Farm Player of the Week is Josh Powell of Drake. Powell enjoyed his first career double-double with career highs of 14 points and 10 rebounds and a 71-60 victory at preseason MC feet MBC favorite Wichita State. For the week, Powell shot 59% from the floor and averaged 13 and a half points and eight rebounds and Drake's two wins. Congratulations to Josh Powell of Drake, today's State Farm Missouri Valley Conference Player of the Week. We're at the half, it's 38-32. So Lukey's on top.
Today's Legion Bank Missouri Valley Conference legend is Shane Hawkins of Southern Illinois. A native of Pinckneyville, Illinois, Hawkins was a member of the league's all-newcomer team in 1995. When he ended his SIU career, he was the conference's all-time three-point field goal leader with 314 trays. He also completed his four years with 435 career assists, good for second on the Saluki's all-time list. Now an assistant coach on the Saluki's men's basketball team, Southern Illinois' Shane Hawkins. Today's a Legion Bank, Missouri Valley Conference legend. features Wichita State's storied run in the 1981 NCAA tournament. Led by bookend forwards Antoine Carr and Cliff Levingston, the Shockers compiled a 26-7 record and advanced to the Elite Eight of the NCAA tournament. Wichita State opened the big dance with wins over Southern and Iowa before meeting Kansas in the Midwest Regional Semifinals at the Louisiana Superdome in a game that is known as the Battle of New Orleans, a 66-65 victory for today's Nestle Perina Millennium Moment. We go back to work, 38-32, Southern Illinois with the uh, lead at half, and we turn to our ConAgra stats, and uh, both teams shot pretty well, but like we said, tale of two different halves, really. Well, 50% for both sides, but the big difference there, Southern Illinois able to hit five out of 12 from the three-point line, and Wichita State has really struggled one for eight. Take another look at the bench score. Wichita State not able to get any points off the bench. Paul Miller, the big guy, was ineffective when he came off the bench for Wichita State, whereas Southern Illinois had a great first half out of Lamar Owen. He comes off the bench, gives him eight points, a lot of energy. That really was the difference in the first half for Southern Illinois. Conagra footsteps. Chris Piper is going to sprint over to the sidelines and visit with Mark Turgeon in just a moment. We'll have that conversation when we come back. It's 38-32. Saluki's on top. Want to skip the trip to the bank at Allegiant? Our Missouri Valley Conference Game of the Week is brought to you by Budweiser. Grab a cold, fresh Budweiser. It's game time. By Edward Jones. More than 130 years of experience helping individuals build financial security. By ConAgra Foods. We set America's table at home and away. By Jeep. If it's not trail rated, it's not a Jeep 4x4. And by Perina Dog Chow. Incredible dog food. Incredible dogs. Lead of six at home for Southern Illinois. Let's check in with Coach Mark Turgeon and get his Mercy Health plans for the second half. Coach? Well, Coach, it started out 8-0 run on them. Things were looking good, but you had to know that Southern Illinois is going to make a run at you. What did you talk about at halftime? Well, we got to take care of the ball, Chris. I mean, we turned the ball over. Our point guards got to take care of it. And then we got to make them shoot jump shots, not layups. I don't mind them hitting a couple threes, but we gave up eight layups that first half. That's too many against this team. Right, good luck in the second half. Thanks, Coach. Mercy Health Plans providing innovative health coverage that empowers members to take responsibility for their health. Visit MercyHealthPlans.com. Well, we got 20 minutes on the clock. Still a long way to go in our NBC Game of the Week presented by State Farm. We talked about during our open, we got a couple of players that could be the players of the year in the Missouri Valley Conference. We're talking about Jamar Howard or Mr. Brooks there from Southern Illinois, and that's a comparison. Both those players haven't really done all that much, Chris, when we talk about it in that scoring department. Haven't really got on track when you take a look at points and uh, boards Darren Brooks got active on one of those boards able to get one of them he's been around but you know a lot of times when you've got guys of their caliber you got to look at the other things as well Jamar Howard has struggled a little bit offensively but done a pretty nice job defensively and Darren Brooks has been all over the floor for the Salukis so the fans back on their feet here at SIU Arena Howard first possession and they score 38-34 Howard only uh, just a handful of points to start this game that's just his fourth. And immediately, Mark Turgeon goes right inside to Jamar Howard. Posts him up, set play, get him the ball inside, let him try and get to work, get him active. Brooks, the soft touch, and he answers at the other end. Well, to start this game, these fans had to stay standing for a good six minutes. Now they get to sit down. They wait till those first points of the halves. Big crowd here at SIU Arena. Glad you could join us. Chris Piper, Dan McLaughlin, our NBC Game of the Week presented by State Farm. Now these first four, five, six possessions for Wichita State, extremely important as far as the psyche goes for this team. They've got to be able to hit shots, make plays happen. Loose basketball, and Southern Illinois comes away with it. 
Hairston thought about the three, then he lost it. A little careless with the basketball. Howard, he can leap. Yep. Well, Coach Turgeon at halftime there had a, uh, a nice point. You know, this game started out with Southern Illinois turning the ball over first three out of their four possessions, but it ends up really with Wichita State being the leader in the category of turnovers. They turned the ball over 11 times in the first half, and they cannot do that. This is a Wichita State team that has to be very judicious with the use of their possessions throughout the game. Howard is on Brooks. Good matchup there. The matchup that we talked about. Shot clock is down to 10. Brooks for three. Good box out there by Wichita State's Wise, and uh, Burns comes away with the rebound. 40 to 36, Saluki's at home up by four. Good show by Sylvester Willis on that pick. Rode Randy Burns all the way out to the half court line. Took away the pick and roll. Took him totally out of that play. Oh! Holman inside, and it won't go home. And a fresh 35 for Wichita State. It'll stay with the Shockers. Couple of the substitutions now for Southern Illinois. Jamal Tatum in the game, along with Lamar Owen. Owen had a terrific first half off the bench with eight points to lead Southern Illinois in that department. Yeah, Lamar Owen also checking in. He got the start against Illinois State earlier in the season when Brad Korn was out with the flu. Had 16 points, eight boards in that game. Gave Southern Illinois great energy in the first half. See what he can do in the second half. Burns matched up with Brooks. Campman inside to Wise on the right block, and he is fouled underneath. That'll go against Lamar Owen, the junior from Owensboro, Kentucky. So Wise to the line. Brett Wise out of Emporia, Kansas, only a junior. the line. Substitution for Wichita State. Paul Miller in the game. Brad Korn back in the game. Sylvester Willis on the sheet for the Salukis. And they lead it by three with 17-34 to go. You know, Dan, it's, it's important for Wichita State to be able to get something out of Paul Miller here now in the second half. He didn't start the game. He had the first half. He played about nine minutes. Only two points, zero boards. You can forget about the points. This team can get its own points, but they have to have him active on the glass inside. Korn with eight points, looking for help, has it in Tatum. Now to Owen, also with eight. Korn and Owen, both with eight points for the Salukis to lead in that department. Darren Brooks trying to post up Randy Burns inside. <laughs> Owen, off the mark. Holman picks up the miss. Howard in the front court. Fans wanted to travel, they're not going to get it. And stepping out of bounds. It's Owen, so it'll stay with the uh, Shockers of Wichita State. And that's what I'm talking about. Big Paul Miller got on the glass for Mark Church and Shockers that time. Got down in transition, able to keep the ball alive, and they get it back. Under 17 minutes to play in our MVC Game of the Week presented by State Farm. Southern Illinois staying at home, not trying to make anything great happen on the defensive end, just playing solid ball man defense. 11 seconds on the shot clock, and now our official got tangled up, it looked like, with Mark Turgeon or a player on the sideline. Well, John Higgins on the sideline. It's a non contact sport as far as officials go. He gets tangled up with Mark Turgeon. Takes one in the face, and he's going to have to shake this one off. Trainer's taking a look. Shot clock will be at nine. Don't see that every day, do you? Mark Turgeon setting a pick. He said, guys, this is how you do it. I can vouch that he never set a pick in college, ever. <laughs> so, I mean, that might be his first pick in his entire career. <laughs> and as usually, it is back to the man, so. <laughs> He'll appreciate that yeah, watching sure the tape. <laughs> Chris Piper and Mark Turgeon, pretty good friends. 
Well, John Higgins had the game yesterday in Columbia, the Missouri-Texas A&M game. Big 12 official as well as Valley official. Five on the shot clock, Burns around Turner. Tough shot, won't go. Warren had a hand on it, winds up to Howard. Now Miller, he's fouled underneath. Yeah, and you like to see the big guy getting active inside. Paul Miller. Got a lot of size, got to work a little bit on the quickness factor, but if he just stays underneath the glass, uses that body, and you're 6'10", that's hard to come by in the Valley. Miller is knows a, a little bit about that as yeah. well. Miller, a 68% free throw shooter. One of two for the rebound. Wichita State going to fall back to that zone defense. Southern Illinois figured this out last six or seven minutes of the first half. See if they can continue here again in the second half. They did great ball movement. All five guys moving on the pass offensively to really key that run that they had. Turner mishandled it at first, but it didn't matter as he buries a three from the left side. And again, great ball movement from one side to the other. Making that defense come out, play on one side, and a couple quick passes around the perimeter, spotting up, finding the seam in the defense, getting ready for the jumper for Southern Illinois. Nice offensive possession. Coleman trying to answer, no good, but nobody box out Campman down low, and he puts it up off the glass for the easy two. Nice play there by Wichita State. Rob Campman sets up the pick for Fridge Holman to come off the top and then rolls to the basket, looking for the pick and roll, but also putting him in position for the offensive rebound. Almost thrown away by Warren. Tatum will reset the freshman for the Salukis. The feeling this game is slowly starting to turn up the intensity inside. Yep, nothing's going to come easy. Just like that. Fans wanted a foul, but they're not going to get it. Ten seconds left on the shot clock. And we will take a timeout. 15.02 to go. Saluki's leading by three. Defending champs of the Missouri Valley Conference, Southern Illinois, 43-40. They lead it by three. Let's check around the league with the Ameren UE Valley scores and schedule. Ameren UE, Missouri's largest electric utility provider. What a shocker there at the half, 38-23. Evansville leading Bradley. Evansville really struggling this season. And you've got SMS leading Northern Iowa, 32-24. Bradley is missing one of their top players, maybe one of the best players in the uh, in the country, but still, hey, Evansville struggling, but not in that game. Well, you know, taking Philip Gilbert out of that lineup takes 20 points out of the lineup for Bradley, but it also takes a few points away from the other guys because he, because he draws so much defense, and that Bradley team is struggling to try and figure out how to win with that Phil, Philip Gilbert. Probably still have another couple weeks to try and figure out that riddle as well. Under 15 minutes to play. Chris Piper, Dan McLaughlin with you. Our fine crew from Metro Sports out of Kansas City. Offensive foul on Miller. Mark Turgeon lost it on the sidelines. He couldn't believe it. Well, he agreed with the call, but he wanted the basket good. Paul Miller maybe got away with a little shuffle beforehand, but Lamar Owens standing right there. And that's a position, as a big guy, it's tough for you to stop that momentum going to the basket, but you got to be able to learn to shoot over the top and not go pounding through that lane. 14-48 to play. Second half action. The NBC presented, presented by a State Farm. Man to man again now by Wichita State. One looking for help. Hairston. Now John Turner. Miller and Warren battling inside for position. Hairston thought about it. With the right hand, the lefty got it to fall. Nice move. Had Jamar Howard out on him on the perimeter. Gave a little ball fake just enough to get the shoulders by him and takes it all the way. And Stetson Harrison, a lefty. That's a tough right-hand finger roll from six feet out. Cantman can shoot it. Off the front iron, no good. The miss tied up, though. Brooks is there along with Liberty. That's a jump ball. Possession arrow for Southern Illinois. Now the coat is off for Mark Turgeon. The tie is all messed up over there. Now Darren Brooks getting a hand in there. 
Ball came out long. Actually, Rob Campman had perfect sighting on it. But Darren Brooks able to get it. Matt Painter has done an excellent job keeping this team involved. They go down 8-0 early, and crowd was dead, and he was able to get him fired up. Keep him going. A screen for three. Falling away a little bit. That's a tough shot. Never really got squared up. And Rob Campman, a hand on the face as well. Here's Campman with the basketball. Matched up with Corn. Two of the top defenders battling on both ends. Hairston matched up with Jamar Howard. Jamar Howard matched up with Hairston. Howard for three. Well, you don't see that very often. Jamar Howard rarely steps out there. Only his sixth three of the year. More times than not, he is going to convert transition or slashing. But the nice thing is he doesn't force it. Really. He'll, if he's got it wide open, he'll take it. But otherwise, he's not going to take a lot of looks from out there. Jamar Howard with nine points now for Wichita State. Well, we said he likes to stir the pot a little bit. He gets active early. Wichita State goes immediately inside into him to try and get him active. Gets transition buckets and, and a nice job of spotting up Aaron. Hall driving the baseline, drawing the double team. And one of the things I've noticed that Jamar Howard does extremely well is he trails the ball in a position that when the ball draws the defense, he is in a position where he can get an open shot, be it swinging on the outside or cutting inside a lane. Seven second half points here, nine for the today. Smooth stroke for Brad Korn, 80% free throw shooter. He'll have a seat. Lamar Owen is back in. Horn with nine points, three of six shooting. Just over 13 minutes to play. And let's see how Adam Liberty does here in the second half. He really struggled with the full court pressure by the Southern Illinois guards in the first half. Almost a steal. Now Stetson Hairston and Jamar Howard have been really mixing it up. Watch these two guys go at it. Harrison giving up a little bit of size. Yeah, he was part of that all-defensive team last year in the MVC. That's his third personal here, Chris. He was draping on the back, lost sight of him for a second, and then was stuck and realized it, trying to fight over the top. Didn't want Jamar Howard to be able to post him up. He's got three. He's going to take a seat. Miller will take a seat for Wichita State. Now, Aaron Hogg now. Has Darren Brooks on him. See if he takes him inside a little bit. Darren Brooks, a great defender as well. How many turnovers now is Darren Brooks forced? Boy. Just hands. Yep. Active. That's the thing that Matt Painter told me about Darren Brooks today. It was, it's not the guy that's going to step out and awe you with the shooting ability, but does everything else. Wichita State now 13 turnovers. That's only their second, though, in the second half. But on the other side, Southern Illinois doing a great job of handling the ball, and Wichita State's defense has not been able to force any turnovers here in the second half. Brooks, Southern Illinois. No good. Howard, the rebound. Liberty a little bit out of control. And that is off a of wise, and it's back to the Salukis. Well, freshman mistake there. Adam Liberty out of control. You go by Darren Brooks. You got to know he's coming up on your backside, especially on that right elbow. Watch him get around Darren Brooks, and Darren Brooks just continues back. He's got to know that he's trailing behind you. You can't kick that wing pass when you get by somebody on the outside. I go to the middle. Just about 12 minutes to play in the game. Willis, offensive foul. He and Wise were underneath and banging down there. So four-point lead now for Southern Illinois. Looking for help. Howard pops out. Southern Illinois likes to give you no room defensively. They will pursue you in the entire half court set. Make you put the ball down on the floor and make something happen. Still, shot clock is going to go off. Holman lets it fly. That's off the rim. That's a loose basketball. 
And it is going to stay with Wichita State. Eleven thirty-six to play. A wild play as the uh, shot clock was winding down. Hog the heads up play, and it's back to Wichita State. Great hops. Make great. 43. Doesn't matter if you're sleeping, you still got to stand up when everybody gets up. Time now for this date in history, brought to you by the Renaissance Grand Hotel, St. Louis, January 11th, 1993. Wichita State's Michael Wiggins went 10 for 10 from the field in a game at Drake. Wiggins remains one of the only nine players in league history to record a perfect single game shooting percentage with a minimum of nine attempts. I always thought I wanted to go back to college, but I've decided I want to go back and be like one year old or younger. Because you don't have to do anything. Now. That's right. Sleep whenever you want to. Hang out. Wow, what a block by Owen. Brooks and Howard. Brooks. Kept alive by Brooks. Oh, what a move. Nice play. Brooks able to pick up the little trash here and the great body movement getting inside and Aaron Hogg caught watching that rebound. He's got to get on the glass. Hogg trying to answer, he does. Boy, Brooks just does not stop. His motor's always going. Brooks. 15 won't go home. Fans wanted a foul. They don't get it. Owen inside picks it up. Now Wichita State's going to have to make an adjustment inside. They're getting beat on the boards right now. And Lamar Owen just camping underneath the glass. Nobody pushing him out. Owen with 10. This is Wise underneath. He's double teamed trying to step through. That's a travel. That's a travel. Great energy in the first half by Lamar Owen. He's backing it up in the second half. Nice little give and go. Brett Wise inside, and then Darren Brooks picking up a little trash here. Spin move, avoids the D and gets that to go. And that's where Darren Brooks is so good is being able to pick up the little stuff. Lamar Owen, fantastic for him, and Darren Brooks doing a nice job as well. Great athletes on this Southern Illinois team. Boy, we forget Southern Illinois at one point was down by 12. Took almost six minutes to get on the board in the first half. Tatum for three. Bang! Knocks it down the freshman. Their top three-point shooter got a pick and hits the three. And this is the biggest lead of the day for Southern Illinois. It's at nine. Nice play by the freshman coming off the pick. No help. The quick hands of Brian Turner. He'll try a three. Oh, and the rebound. And they'll reset. Nice idea, Lamar Owen, little hurt right now. Had shaken it off inside, got a finger in the face, but he's back in. And Jamal Tatum takes that out of play, shoots the three. He can feel it. His third three. Timeout taken by Wichita State. you glad I drove money in Pacifica? Play the home of the Salukis, SIU Arena. And Southern Illinois with a lead now, their biggest of the afternoon. It's at 12. They're on a 10-0 run in the last minute and a half. And the Salukis have done that primarily with threes and a flurry of them. Well, three out of six here in the second half, and Jamal Tatum has been fantastic for him. A little pick on the high side, and he's been firing over the top of that. He's three out of four from the three-point line. 11 points here this afternoon. Wichita State's going to need to make an adjustment to guard him on that pick out that far from the basket. Wise underneath. The pump fake got his man up. Shockers go with their two-point guards on the floor at the same time. Fridge Holman, Adam Liberty. Got Randy Burns on the floor as well. Three small guards for Wichita State trying to match up on the perimeter with Southern Illinois. 
This is Tatum. Tatum with 11. Kicks it out to Brooks. And along with that shot, Owen aggressive again has it. And they reset with Turner. Boy, Owen has been all over the place. He finds a spot every time. That's the thing that you like about him. He's active. He's always looking to be involved on the offensive boards. Able to push Rob Campman underneath the basket a little bit on the weak side, looking for that long rebound off the long three. Foul against Liberty. 13 foul against Wichita State. Horn is going to check back in. Tatum has a seat. Nice round of applause for the freshman. And you mentioned before he was suspended, he has a 4.0 GPA. And as a matter of fact, at Hawaii's High School, they will retire his number. Four-year starter in Jefferson City. They're going to retire his number the next couple of weeks. Real good kid, according to Matt Painter. A freshman mistake. Let the temper get ahead of you a little bit. But he's back and playing well for Southern Illinois. Willis in the lane. Yes. Now Southern Illinois has got the size advantage inside, and they immediately go to it. Get right inside the paint. Sylvester Willis attacking. So State is going to have to try and get something going on that defensive end. Howard got it blocked by Willis. Technical foul. Against Mark Turgeon, the head coach at Wichita State. With 8.06 to play, a technical on Turgeon. And a little tie-up underneath the basket. Jamar Howard goes up and ends up going back down on the floor. Shots blocked, and Mark Turgeon for Wichita State asking John Higgins for a foul there. Maybe ask for a little bit more than that. Gets the tee. There's also a couple of steps out on the floor as play was going by, and they had uh, seen enough. So Turgeon gets the tee. Corn, top free throw shooter for Southern Illinois. Hits the first. He's one of the tops in the uh, conference at over 80%. Hits them both. Corn with 12. basketball. 61-47. Biggest lead of the day. Warren back in the game. Willis will have a seat. See if the Salukis make Turgeon and Wichita State pay. Four-point swing in essence because of that. Nice pass through the double team. Great cut inside and Wichita State's weak side help on that double team non-existent. Got to get off of the ball when you go to the trap. Boy, moments quick inside. The uh, senior from Brooklyn. Nice move inside, but Wichita State's got to buckle down here on the defensive end if they're going to try and get back in this game. Turner, an open look for three. Yes! Southern Illinois has done such a great job of passing up one marginal shot for a great shot. 17-point lead for the Salukis at home. Down by 12 at one point. Now up to 17. 7.25 to go. The NBC presented by State Farm. McLaughlin, our Metro Sports crew, welcome back. 66-49. Saluki's at home and in control with 7.25 to play. Very costly technical against Mark Turgeon, Chris. Well, costly technical there and a lot of defensive breakdowns for Wichita State. That last possession, Randy Burns trying to make a great steal, misses it, and what he does is puts his defensive help in jeopardy and they give up the open three to Turner. Here's Holman. Inside tough pass, Howard is fouled. Wow, what a catch though by Howard. That was a Great bullet. That's Johnny Bench underneath there. <laughs> That's a Nolan Ryan fastball. How about that? Bridge Holman just a little excited on that pass coming through the lane. Watch it's coming to come right at you. Just a bullet. Jamar Howard just gets it up to save his face more than anything, I yeah. think. Self defense. But he got the foul called inside too as well. So able to get a chance at the free throw line. Howard with 10. Four of eight shooting. And perfect at the line, two for two. We take another timeout, 7.05 to play. Uh, 
51 with 7.05 to play. Looking for the season's hottest styles, Aeropostale provides the hottest athletically inspired clothes for guys and girls. For store locations, visit our website at aeropostale.com. That's A-E-R-O-P-O-S-T-A-L-E.com. Aeropostale, proud sponsor of the Missouri Valley Conference. St. Louis guys do learn, don't you? I did. I, I remember the E that time. Okay. Quick learners, <laughs> trying to be at least. Chris Piper, Dan McLaughlin, welcome back to the MVC, presented by State Farm. Howard, and a jump ball is called. Looked like that was a quick whistle. Howard is saying so, and that very easily could have been a steal, but nonetheless, it goes back with a possession arrow to Wichita State. Still a lot of time, 15 points. The way this game started out, it can show you that Wichita State can put together a run. That's probably not going to be the way to do it. A travel whistled against Lamar Owen. That little tangle up. Three Southern Illinois players hanging around on Lamar Owen inside. Paul Miller against the double team. Probably ought to kick that out and let somebody else have the look. Aaron Hogg in there as well. Well, if Wichita State is going to get back in this, they need to make a little run here with six and a half to play. 66 to 51. Miller rattles it home. Good look by Aaron Hogg on the wing over the top. Gets inside to Paul Miller and looks like Wichita State going to try and get it inside a little bit more. Going to have to stop Southern Illinois on this end. Southern Illinois has done a great job of getting looks inside and then attacking the glass. Pearson on the kick from Warren made that a tougher shot. Didn't matter. Knocks down the three. Oh, a tough shot. Jab step inside. Aaron Hall just not quick enough to stay with that jab and then pursue back out to guard the three. 69-53. Howard inside and a foul against Warren. With 5.43 to go. And this is one of the things that Matt Painter was worried about with this Wichita State team. This Wichita State team has a good ability to be able to create their own plays. A lot of good athletes. Can put the ball down on the floor and attack you on the offensive end. And that's one of the things that they wanted to talk about was good ball pressure, good help side defense. Howard averages 14. He's got 11 this far. Stays at that 11 mark. Three-pointers have been a key in this game. Southern Illinois, 10 of 21. Wichita State is 2 of 12. Here's Brooks. And you know, that's uh, pretty good shooting for Southern Illinois when you think that they're going up against the best team in the Valley as far as guarding the three. Coming into the game, Wichita State opponent shot 26% from the three-point line. And here this afternoon, it's been 48% for Southern Illinois. Southern is shooting 52% in the game. They started out ice cold, but everything seems to be dropping now. Foul on Tatum. So Holman goes to the line. Fridge Holman, the senior, came in second in the conference and assists. 11 senior, six points, pair of rebounds on the day. I don't know, uh, Dan, by the time this season's over, it's going to be tough to pick which team in the Valley has the best set of guards. I mean, most of the teams in the Valley will play three guards. This uh, trio of guards for Southern, pretty darn good, especially when you put Jamal Tatum in the mix. Yep, outstanding freshman. Southern came in 3-0 in conference play. Creighton is 3-0. Wichita State at 2-1. Brooks a little careless and a steal for Howard. And a foul. Howard oh, lost a little contact on that play. Lamar Owen went after him. Watch this turnover. Good defense by Jamar Howard going to come down and Lamar Owen trying to time it. Goes up, makes sure he doesn't get the layup and Howard loses his footing. 
It's a little swipe across the face to boot. And then goes and has a seat with the cheerleaders for a while. Great work by our crew from Metro Sports, as always, as uh, Howard lost his contact, so they work on that. And go to the line. Howard out of Shawnee Mission, Kansas. Good kid. You know, he's a guy that is active throughout the entire game. He's always reaching. He's always pushing. He's looking for position. He's just, I mean, he's a type of player that's always involved and also plays with a smile on his face. And I think a lot of times that people take that wrong. They take it like he's uh, doing a little trash talking maybe on him. But I'll tell you what, he's a... A good kid for Wichita State out of Bishop Miege High School, and he plays the game full out, 100%. A little mix up here last year with Kent Williams, kind of along the same pace as him and Stetson Harrison going at it, and that's just what happens when you get competitors lined up against each other for 40 minutes. Now it's only a junior, state. too. A lot of good juniors here on this floor. Yep. You know, I think that's pretty much the indicative of college basketball as a general rule. You got, you don't have freshmen and sophomores that are good, and you're in trouble because a lot of times you're not getting the good seniors anymore. Mm -hmm. Cameron back in the game for Wichita State. 71-54. With 4.17 to play. Big crowd here at SIU Arena. They've seen a good one. Brooks inside. Knocked out of bounds. It'll stay with Southern Illinois. We take a break with under four to play, 3.57. You're watching the NBC presented by State Farm. There you see the game reset. Only seven Division I teams have won more games the past two seasons. Kansas, Oklahoma, Pitt, Duke, Kentucky, Marquette, Maryland, and then all of a sudden you see Southern Illinois with all those wins. 2002 and 03 champs in the NBC. We turn now to our plays of the game, and it's brought to you by Rawlings. Elton Ball Tatum coming off the high pick, hitting a couple threes, and all of a sudden this uh, Southern Illinois team has had great success. Shoot behind the line. Stetson Harrison, a little back. Step for the three. We're gonna get a foul called inside against Jamar Howard. Southern Illinois has really found the range, haven't they? 48%. And this is a Wichita State team that has held their opponents to 26% from the three-point line. Just have not had good pursuit around that line here this afternoon for Wichita State. And you got to credit those Southern Illinois. They have done a great job of passing the ball, especially from one side to another. So Lukey's uh, 10 of 21 from behind the arc today. Here's Howard leading their scoring department for Wichita State with 12 and five rebounds. They get 13. Seven to play. 71 56, Southern Illinois. We're down by 12 in the first half. Game started with an 8 0 run by Wichita State. Southern going to run a little time off the clock. Matt Clark on the floor now for Wichita State. His first appearance in the game this afternoon, the senior. Tatum lost it, trying to get a timeout, and he does. And we stay right here with 3.31 to go. Heads up play by the freshman. Game tonight, Drake is at Creighton. As we mentioned, Drake, one of the surprises under Dr. Tom Davis all those years at Iowa. Creighton is 3-0. and in conference play, 11 and 0 overall. Southern Illinois, 9 and 2. Wichita State came in 9 and 4. The other games are wrapping up as we speak. Bradley at Evansville and Northern Iowa at SMS. Hope to have some finals before we say goodbye from Southern Illinois. 
71-56, leading scores. Horn and Turner both with 12. Tatum with 11. Owen with 10. Brooks with 10, so five and double figures for Southern Illinois. Good look. Horn inside. Great look by Brooks. Boy, he knew where, immediately where to look as well. He turned, looked right down to the heart of the defense and had Brad Corn standing there underneath the basket. Howard lost his footing. Nearly a travel instead. The two off the glass. Howard, a big day. Matches 16 points now. Leading score in the game. Tatum, travel before the foul. Watch the great vision by Darren Brooks. He knows immediately where to look as soon as he catches this ball. No decision in there whatsoever. He knew he was turning and throwing it right underneath. Wichita State face guarding on that sideline. Brad Korn able just to turn, keep his mind on his back, had the angle. Darren Brooks will be a fifth-year senior next year. And throwing it there to Korn, who is a fifth-year senior. Some of the uh, Salukis have been redshirted. That's something that they try to do with this program. They've got things rolling, so instead of seeing a kid play maybe you know, only five to seven minutes a game, why not redshirt him and then get those quality minutes for four more years? Well, you, if you have that luxury to do that, it's definitely something that's going to help you. Give a guy, especially big guys, I think, that come into the Valley, they need another year to mature, get a little bit more weight, a little more strength about them and get ready to play the game and Creighton's had great success doing that Southern Illinois as well Saluki's had two big men that will be set to go next year and step right in but a red shirted 228 to play Owen is over three from the charity stripe five of nine shooting ten points of the game brought to you by GHP a great health plan for your family choose GHP now Lamar Owen fantastic game here this afternoon 10.7 boards was really a guy that brought a lot of energy early in the first half to Southern Illinois got active on the glass and a great job defensively as well and he really gives them a different presence, I think, inside. He's athletic. He's able to move. He can step out and hit the shot as well. Lamar Owen really had a nice game coming off the bench for Southern Illinois here this afternoon. Inside presence they desperately needed. 73-59. We'll keep away now by Southern Illinois. Good win here this afternoon for Matt Painter's team. Always a game that... You come in and you're playing against the team that's picked to win the Valley and you're able to come back after being down 8-0. Says a lot about your program. Now for the Shockers, their player of the game brought to you by GHP. Now, Jamar Howard struggled in the first half, but immediately Wichita State goes to him here in the second half, throwing the ball inside. He ends up with 14 points, five boards. It's the shot from the outside, but... The problem again for Wichita State, not able to handle the ball, giving away too many opportunities on the offensive end. By all accounts, Chris, the biggest uh, conference game so far for Matt Painter going up against what many feel will be the eventual champions in the Missouri Valley Conference, and uh, they come out and play very well here at home. Now, Wichita State's got a lot of questions right now. Got to be able to get rid of those breakdowns. That seven-minute stretch in the first half will come back to haunt them. I think the uh, breakdowns defensively, offensively as well, giving away too many possessions. And really got to give credit, though, to Southern Illinois guards. They've been tremendous passing the ball around the perimeter. 
Hairston a little bit out of control with 58 seconds to play, 13 on the shot clock, and he takes a quick time out. 73-61, Southern Illinois. Wichita State will be at Bradley in their next game. Southern Illinois will be at Bradley next weekend. So this is the Edward Jones NBC standings right now with a win by Southern Illinois. And we're putting that in the bank up 73-61. They'll improve to 10-2 overall, 4-0 in conference play. And Creighton has got Drake tonight. You and I, Drake, and then uh, Wichita State fall into 500 in conference play. Tell you what, it's wide open, isn't it? A lot of teams hanging around there. Anybody really, anybody's league at this point. Look, Creighton. One of nine teams in the country right now undefeated. Yeah. Nine teams undefeated, though. That's awfully uh, late in the season for nine teams still to be undefeated. But conference play will whittle that down pretty quick. So Lukies can't get the inbound in, so a timeout taken. Southern Illinois, by the way, predicted to finish fifth. And uh, now they have a chance to go 4-0. Still a long way to go, but uh, surpassing a lot of folks' expectations is this club, the way that they have played. For Mark Turgeon, it's back to uh, the drawing board. Wichita State at Bradley. That'll be on Wednesday night. Big uh, conference game coming up for them on the road. And Bradley, as you mentioned, without Gilbert, could be the player of the year. He's been injured, so... Wichita State catches a break there. So 58 seconds left. The Salukis will inbound. Go slide, go slide, hard. Ten on the shot clock. Here's Brooks with Liberty on him. And Hogg picks up the miss. Under 50 seconds to play. No need to foul for Southern Illinois. Strip there by Turner to Willis. Chance of SIU. Big, big crowd has enjoyed this one. Well, they've got to be happy with their play. You know, they looked shell-shocked early, but they came out and played tough. Hard-nosed basketball, something that they've been used to under Bruce Weber here, and Matt Painter has done a terrific job. You know, it's tough taking over a program that's had success. A lot of times you got to get the players to be able to buy into the fact that you're the coach here and that, that the way you're going to do things is the way it's going to be. The good thing, though, for Southern Illinois is Matt Painter really hasn't changed a whole, whole lot. He was here under Bruce Weber for quite a few years, and so he was able just to pick up where he left off, and they have really bought into him. He's going to be a good young coach. Howard hits a three. He'll end his day with 19 points. Wichita State drops to two and two in conference play. Salukis are undefeated. They are 4-0. Wichita State now 9-5 overall. Salukis improved to 10-2. And well, Chris Piper, I'm Dan McLaughlin. And the fine folks of the Missouri Valley Conference and Metro Sports. Thanks for being with us. 73-64, our final. Make sure and join us next weekend. Great Valley action will come your way on the women's side. Creighton against SMS. It'll be at uh, 1 o'clock Central, 2 o'clock Eastern. And of course, we'll have men's bas basketball for you next Sunday. Southern Illinois winners, 73-64, so long from SIU Arena.